Welcome to Permutation and Combination e-learning package. In this video, we will be recapitulating the things that we discussed in the lecture. To highlight the things that we have discussed in the lectures, there are the three principles of counting, permutation of distinct objects and distinct objects with some identical objects, circular permutation, combination, and difference between permutation and combination. Three principles of counting. The first principle of counting is the addition principle, which says that when two operations are mutually exclusive, then the number of ways to do both operations is given by the number of ways to carry out the first operation plus the number of ways to carry out the second operation. The second principle is the multiplication principle. It says that when two operations are carried out one after the other, then the number of ways to do both operations is equal to the number of ways to carry out operation 1 multiplied by the number of ways to carry out operation 2. The last principle is the complementary principle, which says that the number of required cases is given by the total number of possible ways subtract by the number of cases that are not required. Permutation of objects the number of permutation of n distinct objects is given by the notation npn and has the value n factorial. The number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time has the notation npr and has the value n factorial over n minus r factorial. The number of permutations of n objects with r objects identical is given by n factorial over r factorial. Some of the methods that are frequently used in permutations of objects are the box method. In the box method, boxes are drawn for each slot that each object can be placed in and we will consider the different cases and possibilities from there. For example, to arrange three students in a queue, let the three students be A, B and C. By considering the three boxes, we see that the first box can be either A, B or C. Once we have fixed the first student, the second box can be only one of the remaining two students. And the last box must be occupied by the remaining student that has not been chosen before. The second method that is frequently used is the list method. This is to list out all possible permutations object by object. Using back the previous example, one way to arrange three students in a queue is to have A in the first position followed by either B or C or C then followed by B. It can also begin by having B as the first student followed by A and C or having C followed by A. It can also be arranged with C being the first student followed by A and B or with B followed by A. This lists out all the six different possible permutation of three students in a queue. Circular permutation. Permutation of n objects in a circle is given by n factorial over n, which has the value of n minus 1 factorial. Combination or what we call selection. The number of ways to choose r objects out of n objects is given by the notation ncr which has the value n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial. This is an alternative notation for ncr. Difference between permutation and combination. In permutation, the key idea is to arrange things. The word arrangement is used. In the case of permutation, the order of things is important. In combination, we are selecting objects. The word selection is used. And this means that the order of things has no importance. We shall proceed on to further video examples that were not discussed during the lecture.